Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing a Death Step Showcase, complete showcase of all the moves on Death Step, these four. So, first thing I, I want to mention is the Death Step, how to get Death Step video that I released a w little bit ago. That, I told you in that, the max, the mastery requirement to get Death Step was max on Dark Step. That is not true, okay? So it was true, but shortly after I released the video, they changed it to 450 mastery, okay? So, to get Death Step, you need to get 450 mastery on the fighting style Death Step. Then you come over here, you kill the boss over here, get his library key that he drops. It's a chance, you won't always get it. You come over here, talk to Foei, you the reformed, say hi, you pay him 2.5 million belly, and or 2.5 million dollars and 5,000 fragments all right so then after you do that you get death step you farm 400 mastery on it and you get all the moves so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna showcase it first move rocket kick boom doesn't do much damage none of the moves do that much damage until you activate devil flames so first I'm gonna do it without devil flames and then with so rocket kick boom See, it like smashes them into the floor. And you can use it, like if your opponent's in the air. So like, let's say I'm going to hit him from under. See, like it still hits him. Even though it didn't smash him into the floor. So that's pretty nice. And, yeah, so the second move, your first move like that, boom. Doesn't do much damage. Actually, before we go move on to the second move, let's showcase just the kicking. Because the kicking just looks... Pretty epic. Just like, look at that. Like, boom, 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 boom. Now use the first move. Boom. Alright. Alright, well, I just paused the video and unpaused because I was kind of having low health over there. Alright, so now I'm going to showcase the second move. Second move is Wind Bullet. So basically it just goes, it's a bullet and it goes wherever your mouse is. So I have my mouse on him. It actually has pretty good range. I'll show you range in a little bit. Boom. Kicks him back. Alright, let's, uh, then the first move. Boom. Kicking looks epic. So wind bullet. Let's try right here. Hits him. It, there's really not that much of an effect, but it does some pretty nice damage. A lot better than the first move, of course. So, wind bullet, boom. Just hits them back. First move, rocket kick. Goes over there, hits them down to the floor. Second move has some pretty small AoE, but to be honest, it has really nice damage. Boom. Alright, so, third move. Third move is Vermilion Drill. This is definitely the highest damaging move, but it's extremely hard to hit in PvP. Like, extremely hard to hit. So basically, you go over here and you click C, you can hold it down, and then it does that. So that's all of that damage without even having it on Devil Flames. So this is, like, very hard to hit, because if you're over here, the guy dash, you, move, you use it, and the guy dashes, boom, you didn't even hit him. And you have to hit him more than once for it to start doing it. Like, if I just hit him once, he can start hitting me. Like, he can run away. But if I hit him once and then I start hitting him again, then it just does all of it and continues. So, over here, Vermilion Drill. Alright, you see how it released early? That's because I let go of C. So the higher you, the, the longer that you hold down C, the longer it hits the NPC. So, quick recap, first move, rocket kick, second move, wind bullet, third move, vermilion drill. And see if I let go right now, it would just do the little slam thing. And, yeah, so, boom, first kick, wind bullet. Alright, now, the last move, basically it just change like here let me just use it last move see npc here doesn't do anything it's not gonna hit him boom fire goes all around me my legs are on fire now 
pretty epic. So now, now that I have it on, my damage and everything is going to be insane. So let's use Rocket Kick on him. Boom. You see how much more damage that did? And then there's Fire. So whenever he's in the fire, it does even more damage. Boom. Rocket Kick. See, he stays in the fire, does so much more damage. And it summons that fire. Wind Bullet. Boom. Hits him. Does a lot of damage. So, again, Rocket Kick. Boom. Hit him like that. Does a lot of damage. Second move, Wind Bullet. Does a pretty good amount of damage. And another thing that I want to showcase with Wind Bullet is, so, if you're just kicking the wall, like, say your opponent is standing right here and you kick and you miss. So that you see the fire? The fire will hit him. So if you miss, it, hits, it just hits the fire. And actually, I want to test... Man, my Devil Flames went away. I'm going to pause it really quick until they come back. Okay, so my Devil Flames are back now. And I can test that second move. So let's wait for this guy to respawn here. Let's turn on my Devil Flames. There's no way to hold it down. Like, whatsoever. Gonna respawn, bro? I need to do it on this guy, because he has the wall behind him. Alright, so, we'll hit him. And then he comes up here. Okay, so, it, it hit him, and it summoned the fire. So, if the if your opponent is next to an obstacle, when you hit him, it will summon fire. Just same, same thing with the rocket kick. Like, if I'm hitting him in the air, it won't do any fire. Like, let's see, if I hit him from the bottom, it won't make any fire. See, there's no fire. But if I hit him like that, see, it made fire go on the ground. And the first move, boom, fire. Second move, wind bullet, boom. Alright, now, Vermilion Drill. This thing looks a lot better when you use the Devil Flames. And you see, you see how much damage that did? Like, that is pretty good. So, first move, second move. Man, my Devil Flames went away again. Gotta pause it. So, I'm gonna unpause it before the Devil Flames come back on. And I just wanna see the damage on Rocket Kick. So, 1513. Now, Devil Flames on. Rocket Kick. 1700 and something, something. <laughs> but see, like, if you add those 6 114s it just did to him. It adds so much more to the damage, because the first one doesn't do that. Alright, so now we're back to Vermilion Drill. It does a lot of damage, and it looks sick, because all your legs are on fire. Summons a huge fire that does 89 every time. Less damage than this fire does, 114.4. And same thing with this fire. How much does that fire do? Let's... You gonna walk in it before it goes away? Nope, okay. Alright. Well, now... That we got all the moves out of the way. First thing I want to mention is that Rocket Kick is extremely good for transportation. Like, look at how far up that made you go. It's very good for transportation. Just like the thing for Rengoku. Shouldn't have shown that, but okay. So, it's like very, very good for transportation. And it just makes you fly up. And if you hold it down a tiny bit, I think it makes you fly up a little more. In my like that's just what I've noticed. So like just click, it makes you go up that much. If I hold it and it also has a very fast cooldown, like compared to the other two, it's extremely fast. So boom. Yeah, see that made me go up a lot higher. Because I just held it down a little bit. Alright, so now that devil flame's back. Time for me to show some combos. Show some combos. Alright, so my favorite one is it mainly just works if you get the Vermilion Drill. If you don't get the Vermilion Drill down, you can't do many death step combos. So, Vermilion Drill, boom. Right after it does that, boom, you use Z. See, look how much damage that is. In, uh, in addition to the fire, it took half the NPC's health. And, yeah, that, that's, it's pretty good. So, let's kill this guy with our death step. Boom, boom, boom. Alright, so. We got Vermilion Drill back down. And the combo that I just added, you can also do it like this. C. And then X. 
It does more damage, not much more, but it does a pretty good amount more. And, like, it's also harder to hit, though. And then you could also do a combo like... Wait, let's wait for the Devil Flames to come back. I'm just going to pause it. Alright, so now that our Devil Flames are back, I can show you my favorite personal combo. So, you do this. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom. So basically you C, then Z automatically, then X. And look at how much damage that did. Like, look at that beauty. So whenever I'm grinding, like on the NPCs and everything, let's let's just show that. So we we get this guy, this guy. This is also how I grind candies, by the way. You just come over here, get them all. Do that. Boom, boom. See, look at that damage. See, the rocket kick, I think it can only hit two NPCs at a time, because my rocket kick only hit those two. But then the fire also damages them all. And then, after that, you can use your wind bullet. You can just go up to them and click. And it's actually a pretty fast way to do it. And look at that, look at us, we just got 450 mastery on death step, so... Nice. Time for the next melee. <laughs> Alright, so... Oh, dang, I didn't kill you. Boom. In general, I mean, Death Step, it really looks nice. Like, it looks really nice, in my opinion. It's beautiful, the way you kick everything. Really nice. It w I w would say this, though. If it was still at 600 Mastery, it would not have been worth the grind. Because, although, like, it's good, it's not that much better than superhuman especially in pvp because superhuman that z and then c it does a lot of damage really good and when compared to this like this combo over here that i do like obviously it doesn't do that much damage when you just click z and then c but the the like it is so hard to hit the c move like i can't even stress it enough it is so hard that's another little small, smaller combo. But yeah, so the C move, like, it is so hard to hit. For grinding, really nice. It used to be, like, superhuman for PvP, Death Step for grinding. I would say now Death Step is all around the best. But superhuman, it's probably better for PvP. The only thing I don't like about superhuman is that, that like, it doesn't really break Ken Hockey. Like, the X move does, but also the X move is the hardest one to hit, and you can barely ever pull that off. But, yeah, so, the, the X move, yeah, on Superhuman is super hard to hit, and on Death Step, like, this move breaks hockey if you hit it directly. This move sometimes breaks hockey. I don't know why, but, like, I think it's just if you directly hit it in their chest. And then this move, sadly, does not... So if like they have their Ken Hockey on and you start hitting them with the Vermilion Drill, they'll just keep dodging all of your hits. But if you do it really quick and then let go, it'll still hit them. Because the when it lets go and it does that flip thing, like let me just show that, like that flip thing right there and it kicked down, that, it does break Hockey. But the kicking does not. So... Personally, that's why I like it. Another thing that I would really recommend is, just saying this now, if you're a fruit main, the sword you should be using is Rengoku. Guaranteed, no matter what. I'm not going to say this in this video. I'm not going to say why. Just use it, figure it out. I'm going to make a Rengoku showcase video extremely soon. Watch out for that. And my block suits, everything you need to know about update 13 is video is coming soon. So make sure you have your eyes out for that. And goodbye. See you next time in the next video. Hope you enjoyed this. See you next time.